Hi, and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 on the forums. Today we'll be talking about how to install any application via side loading using ADB. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the SDK tools, please go see the SDK tools video, uh, run through it, install the tools, and then come back and check us out for how to do this. Okay, what we're going to do here is side load, uh, which means to load an application from the PC to the phone uh, with no market interaction. We're going to do this on a stock 2.1 unrooted Captivate. Um, the application we're going to install is set CPU. Uh, it does not exist. Uh, there's ROM manager settings and talk. And just to prove we're unrooted, we'll go into ROM manager and we'll get the error for you must root your device. So now that we've verified that we are not rooted, let's prepare the install. What we want to do is go ahead and press the bottom left button, say settings, applications, development, and then make sure USB debugging is checked. Check it, say OK, and then go back to the home screen. Once we've done that, we can plug in our phone and set it aside. With the phone set aside, we'll go to the computer and open a command prompt. Once you've ran through the SDK tools video, or if you're already aware of where the SDK tools mean and how to use them, we're going to launch uh, the install using the ADB command. So go ahead and change directories to where you've got your ADB file. For us, we're going to change directories to C, Android SDK Windows, backslash tools. We'll press enter. And then we want to run an ADB space install space the location that the file is at. For us, we're using set CPU. It's located right here on the desktop. So we've got ADB install space C, and then we want to go users, Josh, desktop, and we're going to start typing set CPU, and I'll press tab to complete the full uh, full thing. You can always use tab in any situation to auto fill the line. So for us, it's going to make things a lot easier than having to use. Um, parentheses for spacing and typing in all those letters. So let's take a, a closer look at what we've got there. Okay, we've got the... Let's see if I can focus that out. I'm not sure if you can see that, but we've got the uh, change directory to C Android S SDK S Windows backslash tools. That's where we know our adb.exe file is. And once we've done that, we've gone ahead and ran the adb install space and then the location of the APK file, which for us is on our desktop. So put that file wherever you would like it. Then we want to press enter. At that point, we'll receive um, a rate at which the file was installed and a success or a failure. So for us, we've gotten a success. Now if we go back to the phone and press applications, bam, there's set CPU. And that's how you sideload an application to your Android device using ADB tools and ADB install commands. Uh, please check out our other videos in the channel. Visit mobiletechvideos.com for the latest info about the site and what we're coming up with. And as always, good luck.